My name is uh, Sean Brown and I uh, have this museum here in Castlery and it's called Castlery Railway Museum. Well, I think the main attraction would be the, the train itself because it's the only pub in Ireland anyway that has actually got a locomotive in it. I have a lot of hats uh, from different parts of the country and then I have a lot of tickets. Uh, um, it's a ticket which actually would be used and, and they can be very rare too as well, especially if there's a hole in them. It meant that it actually travelled on the railway line. This here would be my favourite photograph, taken on the 2nd of February 1963. This was the last train out of Balladrine. The engine was number 574 under the ownership of the GSR and formerly belonged to the, the MGWR, the Midland Great Western Railway, it was called Dunsandal number 80. That engine was brought back then to um, Sligo and the following October it was brought back to Mullingar for scrapping. And as I went through Boyle, a friend of mine who had been transferred from Balladrine to Boyle took the injector handle off it and 40 years afterwards he gave it to me. So that's all that's actually left of this particular engine. This here is the sign from Island Road which was an intermediate station on the Balladrine branch between Kilfrey Junction and Balladrine itself. So delighted to get it from it. I was presented to me on the 3rd of July 1983 by Christy Plunkett. And I'm very fortunate, but it had caused more problems to me afterwards because there was a particular farmer up the road wanted to use it for to put in the bottom of a trailer. I'm glad we have it preserved. This photograph were taken in June 1956, where the driver of A44, you must remember these engines were only introduced the following the year previous to that. So he fell asleep. And when he came in at Ferris Kilfrey Junction, he wasn't able to get the staff because it wasn't available to him. So the signal man let the train go up the side and, and caused this crash. It was horrendous at the time because it cost a million pounds. But the remarkable thing about it, there were sweets, cakes, clothes, and the people from around the area came along and it was like manna from heaven. They brought the whole lot with them. So that was 1956. And the engine was brought back to Injacore and put back on the road again. A A44 was the number of it. I show you the poster from 1952 when the film was released, The Quiet Man. It actually made Ballyglunan famous. And from it I have the signal cabin's diagram, Ballyglunan. I also have a, a photograph of this, the sign and the sign itself for Ballyglunan. And it, at the time, the station for the purpose of the film was called Castletown. Here I have Ballyglunan about 20 years ago where they reenacted the John Wayne and Moira Harris scene going up along the railway track. Oh, this, the sign here came from Ballyglunan station. This is the staff that was used uh, on that particular occasion for the train going from Tume in the far as Ballyglunan, the filming of The Quiet Man, 1951. Well, the most exciting thing I find, I have a lot of staffs, and if a person is, say, from Dunmanway and Cork, I do get a great kick out of actually showing something from their area. I'd have nearly about maybe a hundred staffs altogether. The staffs that I spoke about are very, were very essential on the railway. It meant that when it was given to a driver at a particular station, it meant that between that station and the next one he goes, he has the right of way. This actually will be very valuable because it comes from the Clahar Valley Railway Company Limited and it actually shows a deed and it's dating back from the 11th 11th, 1885. And uh, I'm glad to get that. I make sure I keep it without having it under direct sunlight to make sure it doesn't fade. And also a timetable. You must remember this railway line, which went down towards the, on the Finn Valley, closed in 1941. Well, this is the staff I got from um, a fellow called David Ward, and he's in Australia. I have that now um, nearly nearly, oh God, over 12 years. So what I did was I gave him an Irish staff and he gave me one from Australia. These would be the most collectible ones I have. Kilrush to Kilkey. And they were, came out of a place called Myasta Junction, which has a preserved locomotive there at the moment called Steve Callan. But why I like these, because first of all, I was born in Innes myself and uh, the West Clare Railway was made famous by Percy Fringe when he wrote the song are you right there, Michael? Are you right? This here is the actual receipt what I paid for the train. I think the date on it will be uh, 1998.